public participation forum request uh, persons is uh, Miss Leslie Peterson. Miss Peterson, come on up. As a teacher, I'm familiar with data mining in schools, and I believe that you are trying to solve this balancing act between access to public records and protecting citizens' privacy. Easy access for attorneys is not the only consideration. The public's trust and confidence demands a protected access policy. Citizens are not in a position to refuse giving information that's mandated by the courts, and that makes the courts the supervisor to manage that information to prevent it from being used for purposes other than which it was collected for. Most people do not realize and would never think that local courts are selling their records to a data broker. When citizens of Smith County realize that they are at risk, there will be negative consequences, and we hold you responsible to manage and protect Smith County residents' information. You have a duty to avoid downstream disclosure of that information, and you would be negligent if you did not. We expect you to be good stewards to protect access from some users and at the same time allow access to other users. Technology is not an enemy, it can be used for good or bad. You've started a trial agreement with Tighter Technologies, but do you know their history? Why they are the biggest and where they got their money and why they have the name Tighter Corporation? Joseph McKinney maintained a low profile, but he was a hardcore businessman doing business as Saturn Industries he acquired Tyler Pipe. He changed his company name to Tyler Corporation, and then he sold it for a huge profit to launch into the information data collection. It was never considered an unfriendly takeover. He liked his companies diverse, and he was always ready to make cash flow. He was a millionaire at 29, bankrupt three years later, and at 53, he was managing billions of dollars in his empire. His strategy was asset turnover. The new CEO, in his forward-looking statements, expressly disclaims any obligation to release publicly any updates or other risks detailed from time to time. And that is a source from Tyler Technologies. Why has Bill Gates partnered with Tyler Technologies? Because there is big money in data collection and distribution. Knowledge is power and he who owns the gold makes the rules. If you look at the federal PACER program, they have a huge revenue mess. Millions of dollars have been collected in fees, and that brings up the question of constitutional power of the purse. Yes, there were security breaches when the ship sailed in 1999, and documents were put online, but the ship sank very quickly and was dragged back to harbor for repairs. Websites pulled down their information after public outcry and disastrous consequences. I'll give you just a minute to finish up. Search Texas is not a popular site. A hundred counties have already signed the resolution. Um, phase two starts in the spring where it's mandatory to put dockets online, but it is not too late for you to do the right thing. We need to put some boundaries from somebody sitting in Puerto Rico, which is a client of Tyler Technologies, from transferring information because you have sold your rights. Texas is fourth in the nation in identity theft. There is no perfect database. Redacting is not foolproof. We would ask you to please guard against the mid-use of mountains of personal information that you collect we did not elect Tyler Technologies, certainly not Bill Gates, to maintain our court records. Say yes to local management of records. Say yes to keeping revenue in Smith County. Say yes to boundaries on phase two of Search Texas, and yes to the resolution. Thank you, Ms. Peterson.